Not 100% sure if I'm online or not. Well, we're back. We're on. Don't know why that was... I just saw a blank screen when I uh, looked at my stream then. Okay. Right. Sending off these guys. And then... This guy. And then... This guy. So all my social media... Followers will come swarming. So what did we do last time? As we tried to solve the murder of Ruth Bellamy, aka Halcyon Helen. We explored the Purpleberry Orchards, we did some sleuthing around... I don't remember a lot of last week's one, like... Because we did... we Let's look at the journal, see what we did last week. Oh, yeah, 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 um... Wait, hold on. So we did the autopsy. You hit Spencer Wolf. Yeah, so, like... Spencer Woolrich, her... Her co-star, who benefits the most from her being dead, kind of... He, he kind of poisoned them both. But, like, he was fine. God, that's the problem with going a week between... Because I think you're meant to do, like... Do this all kind of in, like, rapid succession. But going a week between it is like, I forget what we've done. Um, we hid Spencer Walsh's role in poisoning Halcyon Helen. She didn't die from poisoning. She was shot, I think. So I don't even remember how she died. So, like, this is going great. Uh, yeah, I forget, like... Very important details about what's going on. Yeah, so we did all this. We spoke... We did some really cool Good Cop, Bad Cop stuff with Black Hole Bertie, uh, Halcyon Helen's uh, former partner, who has motive because she broke up with him just before she died. Um, but he had an alibi. Yeah. And we also... And we also found this Prophet of Profitability was the last person that uh, saw Helen alive. And, like, apparently, like, Helen had talked about how shitty her seminars were, her, her obvious scam seminars were. But then we saw evidence that Helen had backtracked on that and, like, said uh, sent an email saying, look, I'm really sorry I did this. I'll to make it up for you. Let's go. Let, I'll take one of your courses and hopefully you won't see too much of revenue going. But weirdly, when we spoke to the Prophet of Profitability, whose name I will never get tired of saying, um, she uh, she was all like, oh, arrest me. I did it. I killed her. And it's like, you seem too eager to be, to be like, um, to admit to this. But we also have my pet theory is that... Um, Halcyon Helen's not dead, because someone's going around and killing key witnesses and stuff, and I think it's her. I mean, that's my theory, anyway. And another thing we discovered, completely gross, horrible thing, in the loading screen, where it shows you the drink that everyone's, like, raving about, the uh, Rizzo's Brown, uh, you see a little horrible slug in there, and I didn't know that was there until last week. So that's fun. Anyway, let's... Oh. What floor would you like to visit? So, hold on a sec, never mind. Um... So, last time... Ah! What did I do then? I think that's the gun we want. Yeah, we have a little robot that, like, makes us, um... That detects clues for us. And we have... That's there. So we can name the murderer. We've got enough evidence now that apparently we know who it is. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um... But also... The head of Slug, the security service that looks after the hotel, um, may have had a hand in the death. So we have to speak to Cedric King Cannon and see what he has to say about all this. So that's what we're doing now. What floor would you like? The VIP guest floor? Where is he? Hold on. Like, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna go to the VIP guest floor and see... What? Who's a good crew to bring with us here? I've been bringing Ellie for a lot of this because I feel like medical knowledge is important. I'm going to say goodbye to Felix and let's get Pavati back involved because 
I get the, the sense that we're going to have to do some fast talking here, and she gives us a boost to our persuasion, because everyone loves Pavati. See, there it is. Look, see that fucking horrible gross slug? Bottom right-hand corner. Fucking hate it. Like, genuinely makes me sick. I was think that fucking slug popped into my head almost every single meal I've eaten this week, and I was like, oh, no, I feel sick now. It's fucking gross. I hate it. I fucking despise that image. And hold on. I'm getting a... Where's my... There it is. Right. I wasn't watching the stream on my end. Fucking horrible. And so many slugs in this, like... Right, this isn't the right floor. To the lobby then, I guess. To the lobby we go. Pick a different loading screen. Fucking hell. Hate it. it. Genuinely makes me physically ill. It looks like... It looks like a fucking shit in the bottom of the bottle. A shit that's waving to you that also has, like, little insect legs and a little insect face. It's the grossest thing I've ever personally seen. And the fact that it's like... Well, it's not the grossest thing I've ever seen. Come on. I've had to work in jobs where I've had to clean up actual human shit before. So, like, no. Not even close to the grossest thing I've ever seen. But, like, it's horrible. Like, And the fact that it's been there the entire time. And it's been, like, three or four weeks we've been doing this DLC... And I've not noticed it until last week. Like, I genuinely just, just... And now I can't fucking take my friggin' eyes off it. It's horrible. Right, so we are... Going to speak to Cedric. So he's in the... Garden. I hope this isn't the end of the DLC. I'm actually... As much as I complain about a lot of it, like, the... The fact that I can't remember what happened between weeks is a uh, is like a an issue. But on the whole, like if I was playing this for myself and just kind of like I would be having an absolute ball with this. This is like everything I want in a in a video game, like a good murder mystery and like it's a really engaging story. Like the Outer Worlds in general is just great. Give it a go. Like it's a, it's such a good game. But um, it's just the it's, it's, I'm so engaged in the story. I want to know what happens next. I want to like, I want to sort of go to an accusing, excuse me. I want to go to an accusing parlor at some point and just be like, I'll give a big like, uh, um, Hugo. Ah, oh, what's his fucking name? Uh, Poirot speech and just fucking lay into lay out all the facts and just fucking give give the kill and reveal the killer in a shocking twist in some. In some way. I fucking love an accusing parlor, man. Where is this now? So this is like... Can I just fast travel to this? Oh, so he's in the spaceport? Okay. Come on. Where's the fast travel point? Come on. Oh, do you know by the time I find the fast... I can I land on the fast travel point. I may as well just run to it. It's not that far. We may have some cool combat along the way to sort of break things up. Well, these guys as well. These are a problem. Ah, shit. Oh, didn't even see you there. Ah! Giant slug! Where are you? Yeah, so another thing that's happening that's also gross is these guys. Oh my god, he's got so many slugs on him. Like, the... It's very slug heavy, this fucking DLC. But yeah, like, um, people get those slugs put in their heads and, like, it makes them deliriously happy to an upsetting degree. Like, it's upsetting to see it like that. Um, like, they've got these horrible rictus grins on their faces. They're just grotesque looking things and like if you try and remove the little uh, little passenger is what one of them called it and um, you try and remove that from their necks they get violent so like there's apparently they were being made up by Rizzo's to um because they're more addictive than alcohol so they were like okay we can harvest these slugs and and I guess as a byproduct they were like hang on we can use them to brainwash people as well just fucking Neuralink style 
horrors going on here. One thing, the outer world is not a good place. Not a good... It's a capitalist hellscape. It's not a good place to be. For anybody, like... Except for the very rich. Very much like our world. See, I'd much rather look at this fucking mantis swarm than... Uh, that fucking slug. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of slugs in general. Like, I can, do, I can deal with them. Like... Actually, I don't even know if I could... I don't know, I've not seen an actual slug in real life for a long time, so maybe I'll freak out when I see it. But, like, I don't like snails or any of that shit. Like, just gross, slimy things. I'm not a big fan. Just bugs in general. Just, they bug me, you might say. Ha 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 ha. Clever joke. Very funny. This is why people tune in every week. And by tune in every week, I mean, you know, watch it a week later on YouTube. So I feel like the the actual YouTube videos I post of this, when I put, like basically repost the entire stream to YouTube uh, midweek, they do okay, like, views-wise. They don't, like, they're, they're pretty good. Like, people, some people, like, I do see the watch time, and a lot of people do stick, to, stick through to the end, which is impressive, like... Because they're quite long. I normally expect people to like tune out and come back to it later. But a lot of people, so there's like at least two or three people a week watch the entire thing front to back. So to those people, I say hello. Thank you for your support. Anyway, I don't think I think. Hmm. I don't know what to make of Sublight Underground or Slug. I guess <laughs> I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. You know what I just fucking noticed? I'm a moron. I'm a fucking idiot. This, it's very slug heavy. I'm like talking about the slugs in people's necks. Their name is Sublight Underground. It's literally slug. They are literally slugs. Like you. You got an appointment. Oh. It's an aggressive tone. Appointment. Hello, I need to speak to Cedric. Yeah. That's why you're here. Wow. Appointment. She's got an attitude. No, but I'd like to see Cedric no regardless. No talking to Mr. Kincan. Here we go. Let's do some fast talking to get ourselves in here. Not very friendly, are you? They don't pay me to be friendly. They pay me to keep hooligans out of Mr. Kincannon's hair. Come on. Do I really look like a hooligan? I'd say so. That said, it's possible Mr. Kincannon <laughs> might enjoy talking to someone as personable as yourself. We'll see what he says. Mr. Kincannon, got a person of interest here to see you. I think they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send her up. Thank you very much. I'm busy. Okay, well... <laughs> see? It's a little bit of a... Uh... This is why when you're dealing with a customer service representative of any kind and they're like RC or like you're not getting what you want, the best way to beat them is to kill them with kindness. Just be like, oh, you know, be nice, be polite. Same, like, stuff that you do. Because I, I work in a call center now, basically. It sucks. And um, that's basically, like, if someone gets, like... That's why I've not had any aggressive customers. I think it's less the, the customers that I'm dealing with and more the fact that if I fuck something up, it causes a lot of harm to people. So I've got to be tip-top and I can't do admin stuff while on the phone. I can't multitask like that, and it's quite stressful. But yeah, it's, when I get people who do have that, like, it's just like, you kill them with kindness. You're just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Be, don't raise your voice, don't rise to their level, just de-escalate. It works so well, honestly. Like, um, The worst thing you can do with any kind of customer service problem is get aggressive and angry, because it just that builds the energy up. Um, I have not always followed that advice myself. I lost my I lost my uh, job as an NHS receptionist because I chased a patient and tried to beat the shit out of him. So you know, we uh, I don't always practice what I preach. <laughs> anyway, Cedric King Cannon, hello there. Why, if it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Oh, he's too slippery. The nonsense outside first. Another murder? Drunk raptodons? 
Black Hole Birdie, practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. He's too smooth. I had to run in with some slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. I genuinely don't remember this. Did I just walk right past it? The three hours they went slug one and forgot to load his pistol. Did he really? <laughs> My word. I hope you shot Apparently, I don't know, remember Maybe this. Someone out there wants you thinking I sent my goons after you. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? You can want anyone in your work relationship. Okay, I do remember this guy actually, because he was on the um the intercom at the beginning. He was the guy I was convinced that him and Ludovico were fucking, like, because, um, just the tone that they have with each other is quite like uh, an old married couple. I was like, oh man, these guys are fucking, they are, there's some unresolved sexual tension between these two, but I think they just actually hate each other. Um, uh, gosh, could it possibly be the administrator? How dumb do you think I am? You know what? You can get, we can get this way, we can get aggressive with them. It would be satisfying, but I feel like he, they would bounce right off him. He, it, like any kind of like smart alecky bullshit would just bounce off this cunt. It would like he's smooth. He he's he he like he's got our number kind of. But I think like we keep the level down. If you have a theory, spit it out. Oh, that's good. That's very good, Inspector. I like this. Dominant, aggressive. That wasn't the tone I was no, going for, but okay. Shot. I don't want to accuse anyone without hard evidence, though hmm. it may be worth noting Ludovico has motivation in spades. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the he wants... Inspector. I... Well, that's settled. I assume you'll want to know hmm. where I was the night of Hell's Yeah, Murder. I will do, but like I want to talk for a second. But like... He's smart enough to set up an obvious trap like that, so I'll come to him and be like, um, oh, we had these guys that were fake slug agents, so he can accuse Ludovico. Because Ludovico is kind of our handler for this whole thing. He's, he's the one we've been sharing the information with and stuff. So I don't think he did it, but this guy wants us to think that Ludovico did it, you know, or has got some hidden motive. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. There's more going on here. Let's hear it. Let's see. That night, I was... Bang! Shot there, no, okay. ...torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Wow, okay. He's right up a minute yet. Oh, he's gonna be dead, isn't he? But when you say break... His spine, specifically. If you'd like to know the exact vertebrae, I'm afraid I don't know. I can tell you he's quite dead. Not that it matters much. Wow. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie. And I am. Incriminatingly. Oh, people. he's up to something. Wow, you're a real piece of shit. Yeah. Like, holy shit. This is about to be, oh, I was torturing a guy. We broke his spine. Lol. I wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. Yeah, he's a real piece of shit. All right. Um... Let's keep the level. Like, how am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? It's as I said. You shouldn't. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. And tell me how to Why do my in job. In the name of the architect, would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I don't think he did. I think I still think. We make a killing cell and take us to a funeral. Why, Inspector? That's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Side quest. Take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo, then. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. Mm. This is the latter. It's too fucking smooth. 
Like, I didn't suspect... I don't suspect him of killing Helen. Though I do suspect him of much, much worse stuff. <laughs> like, none of the people... I don't trust... I don't think any of them did it. I, I genuinely believe it's like... Everyone's a red herring in Hel Halcyon Helen, a.k.a. Ruth Bellamy, is alive. I get them mixed up, because everyone refers to her as Halcyon Helen. But... It makes great pain. This is why I think it's... Okay, this, I keep... I still gotta say this every week. But this is why I think she's still alive. Because everyone refers to her as Halcyon Helen. That's her character that she plays in the Aetherwave serial. But the actress's name is Ruth Bellamy. Nobody has said Ruth Bellamy is dead yet. Except for one person, I think. Um, so everyone, everything's done in character. It's what makes me think it's a huge publicity stunt. And it's all being, like... It's all meant to, like, draw up interest in this... Um, uh, Rizzo's brown, this horrible sluggy drink. What's gone missing specifically? Nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> before you ask, I oh, so you hit that for. Um, what's the connection to Helen's murder? Sure. I'm only confident there is one. Hmm. That the theft began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary There's coincidence. Going on here. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Hmm. I can't guarantee that. Really? Dunlock's done a lot for me. Has it? I wonder how much of your luck has been luck. It's Columbo, this guy. Has chance. Look on, <coughs> this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> I'll say this once. Whoever's going behind this is going to jail, not to you. I feel like I shouldn't say no to a violent crime lad. Hmm. A couple of options here. I like the look of all, a lot of them. That's quite quippy. I feel like I shouldn't say no to a violent crime lord. Or just no. That, those are both funny, and I want to say them. And that's funny as well, like, in like a genus, like a fucking monstrous, killery kind of way. And that's not who I am in this playthrough. That's, uh, because I don't want to send someone to be mangled. That's the, that's the least thing I want to do. You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. <laughs> and do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my... He's too fucking slippery! Uh, it's too fucking. This guy's too slippery. Was there something else he wanted to discuss? He's into something worse than what's going on here, and I feel like, oh man, I I was like, I was ready to clear this guy and go with my uh, Halcyon Helen, is still alive theory, but oh, he's off to something. He's off to something. He's a clever fucking bastard. This guy. Um, why does Ludovico hate you so much? The original incident. Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. They fucking. Oh, they fucking. Uh, I was assuming he could. Did he put a severed raptor down head in his bed? What? No. Lord, no. Why in the architect's name would you think that? Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublet to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lose <laughs> an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. It's terrible, but also hilarious. Anyone who misses a trap that obviously isn't fit for management? How fine a print are we talking? Still technically visible to the human eye, <sighs> but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, Planted the seed of hatred, and Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. He did steal what was rightfully his, I'm sure, all the sniping you do. 
picture, that doesn't help. Where's the option to say, like, oh, you guys should fuck? Because I think that, that would resolve everything for everybody. Because there's definitely, there's definitely more than hatred between these two. Like, I don't believe for a second. He even, he even said, don't believe a word I say. I think, I think this is a lover's quarrel. This whole thing. Like, and I will go down with this ship. I will, I ship it. <laughs> Um, entering a grudge is an ugly thing. He did steal what was rightfully his. I think power belongs to those who submit the proper paperwork requesting it. No, that's true. <laughs> Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Why do you care so much what the board thinks? It's about where you cackle and reveal your grand, evil grand plan. Both good. Both good. Uh, I like that, though. <laughs> oh, that does sound fun, though. Is securing a board seat for Sublight evil enough? Surely we can at least agree that it's grand. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less-than-legal business opportunities. Which, of course, you are. <laughs> I mean, that's very that's very obvious, but you tortured a man for information. That's a bit fucking... I mean... Okay, like... Every single option is a different, like, famous detective. Like, you can Columbo them and, like, disarm them by being like, Oh, that's just dumb luck. You can fucking be smarter than they are and Sherlock Holmes them. You can get really aggressive and angry, uh, like, I don't know... Who's an aggressive detective that, like, maverick cop who gets results kind of thing. You know, there, there's a million of them, but I can't... Like, you can McNulty, McNulty from The Wire is a good example of that. Or you can just, like... You know, um... Yeah, they're all... Like, it's, it's cool how you can be whatever kind of investigator you want. And it all, it all kind of leads the same direction. I'm going to stick to the Columbo strategy, because Columbo, he gets it done. Which, of course, you are. I wish I could wink. But it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. Ah, uh, I met a guy who just says the word wink. Oh, the constable's dead as well. Oh, by the way, oh yeah. <laughs> Leave that till the last minute. Shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? Hey, it's Kel on Earth. How's it going? Um, yeah, it's it's Outer Worlds. It's um, it's uh, how do I explain what the Outer Worlds? It's it's an RPG that's set in space by the guys who made Fallout New Vegas and it's got elements of Firefly and stuff and it's great and also we're doing a murder mystery which which is we're in the DLC stuff so it's all like a big murder mystery so yeah so right now what was it was murder murder most foul were you involved in her death given she was the spaceport's sole resource employee you better hope not Depends, did you accidentally kill her? So which detective do I want to be? Columbo, always. It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. <sighs> you... Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. He's talking about murders bad and stuff, but he's doing a lot of the murders himself, like, and admitting them to me. <laughs> like, uh, did you know the constable well, I guess? Would it surprise you to hear that, despite being on opposite sides of the law, we were friends. That her loss comes as a sudden blow. Maria was a decent soul. And law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. I feel like this is genuine. Almost, yeah. But I can't tell if you're bullshitting me or not. And he even admitted I don't tell the truth all the time. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's stay or stand his good side. Let's keep Columbo and this guy. You were drinking buddies? B drinking buddies? Buddies. Drinking buddies. I'd love to have seen that. She was fond of a zero G, so I cannot begin to imagine. Because all the other drinks have slugs in them. Something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? 
I don't believe for a second that he is genuine there. But also I kind of do. And this is the problem with dealing with slippery characters like this. Uh, I have more questions about Helen. Um, if you didn't kill her, any ideas on who would want her dead? I mean... He's going to point at another... He can kind of point me at anyone he wants to get rid of, though, is the thing. He's going to just say, oh, it's Ludovico, definitely did it. Or, you know, oh, it's my other business... My other business rival did it, obviously. Like, he's going to try and do that. But let's see what he says. That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? <sighs> Clearly you don't. This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can intelligence it. Oh, I wish I could intelligence it. I wish I was... The thing is, my character is like a scientist and medi a doc like a medical doctor and stuff. So, like, I should be, like, good at intelligence, but... It's not I'm listening. Her actions in the time leading up to her death do not align with those of an actor on Eridanos solely to promote Spectrum Brown. Stay sharp, Inspector. Now is not the time to lose focus. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. Again, I still think that, like, Helen is alive. Because, for all the reasons I said earlier, like, everyone just refers to her as a character, not as her actress, which... Let me believe that I'm the fucking butt of this huge joke that they're all having. Did you have many dealings with Helen? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with magpics, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Well, that's interesting. She was buying hacking tools and stuff. And she's chilling on a beach with Elvis and Tooth Tupac. <laughs> we haven't ruled out Elvis and Tupac as potential suspects either. I am pretty sure Elvis had a hand in this. Those peanut butter and jelly smears all over that buddy. Um, why did you help her? That didn't strike you as suspicious. But, and of course it was suspicious. He's a shady businessman doing shady business dealings. It's more interesting, why did he help her? That's the question. Because she paid mm. me to. Inspector. That was an obvious answer. Besides, Ellen was enjoyable company. She was confident, resourceful, determined, not unlike you. Not I like knew he was going to say that. I was about to say, he's going to say, oh, it's a bit like you. Uh, you know more than you're telling me. He's going to be like, of course I do. Like, I'm a slippery cunt. I might. Yeah. I just yeah, might. I knew he'd say it. Your point, Inspector. <sighs> On to you. You're getting away with less than you think. I feel like that's... Oh, I've already made it is a bit like... Oh, I'm on to you. He's going to laugh off both of these. But, like, if I just say... Oh, I can see past the layers of bullshit, man. I can see past it. You're not fooling anybody. Now that is interesting. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes. Whatever shape it takes. That's all I can do. One moment, oh, if you go. please, Inspector. Hmm. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? It was Ludovico who put me onto it. I can. I can't tell you that and fucking flounder around like an idiot. I can fucking dob in Ludovico, which he probably suspects that anyway. It's not going to help anybody. Um, I can be like, you're one of. Eridanus has made you players, it only makes sense. Get into his ego a bit. Or I can use my lying ability to be like, uh, just had a hunch. But I feel like he's a good enough liar that he will detect my lie kind of thing, even though that'd be a successful check if I did that. I feel like you're... Yeah, that's... Let's use that one. It only makes sense. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then... Did you need anything else? Mm. I walked into this being like, I will rule off another red herring. But I think I feel like he's guilty of something. Just not the murder. Maybe we can look around his office too. 
Let's go look around his. Hey, where's my. What? Oh. Um. I feel like these are like clues, but also. Like, it's all about. It's basically a novelization of one of her movies, it seems like. I found like two or three chapters of it so far. And they all point to the fact that there's like horrible, horrible slugs in the story as well as being like horrible slugs in the uh, in the game. I mean, I could steal his vodka and his chocolate bar. Oop. Thank you, robot. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. The gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Uh -huh. We're looking for somebody with a myopia in the eye. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. They're in his office, obviously. <sighs> it's a little surprising Cedric hasn't quadrized his fingerprints to avoid detection. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had a custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Wait. Tell me more about that. Inspector. To uh, do... Yeah. Uh, oh no, we can't. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot all the evidence. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device <laughs> inside. I was gonna say something's. Ooh, use my engineering ability to short range transmission capabilities. The receiver must be somewhere nearby. You figured that out just by looking at it? To talk shop one of these days. Yeah, I learned a lot from you, Pavati. Consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. <laughs> Moo. Um, you can talk discrepancy, Pavati. You do it. It's like well, I'm just listening. I'm coming for you. I have a certain set of skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I'm going to say moo. Poor woolly cow and <laughs> Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. How long's it been here? Analysis hmm. inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Mm hmm. So it's been there for a while. There's a lot of dust on it. Um, examine the dust. And another option, what I love about this, you can just go around tasting all the evidence. And that feels like the comedy option, but I'm only now thinking it, it comes up so often that maybe I'm supposed to be tasting everything to get a better sense of what's going on. Um, I'm going to... So examining the dust is just, oh, it's going to be dust. I'm going to examine the surrounding area. The area within a 0 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. It's not very dust. It must have been placed fairly recently. The bug was planted. Yeah, let's do a wild guess. The book was the bug. It's also a book that works. Was planted roughly a week before Helen's death. That is highly likely, Inspector. Ha <laughs> ha. No, wait. Don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. I see you're a man who enjoys a uh, accusing parlor as well. Oh, what's this? Well, I can go to the receiver location. Oh, I can. Go to the foreman. Let's go to the receiver location. I'm interested in that. Also, what's here? Aha! Hiding level head in your bathroom, is it? Oh, you get implicated further and further by the day. Considering I started this as well, like, accusing everybody that I saw. <laughs> just random passers-by. I have been r remarkably reluctant to actually accuse anybody yet. Ooh, what have we got over here? Some iceberg age whiskey. Speaking of which, I am my character is well also me, but like I'm gonna need a drink soon. Cause I I have the alcohol alcoholism flaw. 
in real life as well as uh, exactly it's Kel on Earth. If you accuse literally everybody, you're guaranteed to find the right person. Like one of these people. What about you? Where were you? My robot is listening. Freighter crew member. Please don't point that at me. That's exactly what a guilty person would say. <laughs> take it to the take it to the brig, everybody. We found our murderer. <clears throat> she doesn't like being covertly recorded. <laughs> like all guilty humans. Oh. Stop drawing the wrong gun. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime covered. I mean, it would be. Um, do we know for a fact that someone was listening in on Cedric? Or is Cedric just a huge pervert who likes listening to people use the bathroom? Critically looking awful sus. Yeah. It's coming together. It's all coming together. Yeah. I can be all squeamish about it, or I can take the receiver. Oh, that's going to be the how I end the conversation anyway. Any clues as to who put it here? Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, it's like pause before foot there. Determine who placed the device. Um, how long's it been on the ground? Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Let's take it and see what happens. Right, let's go let's put our robot away. Take a swig from our... Should we take a, should I take a swig from... No, it's not. Because it, it's only temporary. May as well be hungover for a little bit longer. Yeah, so I've got the alcoholism flaw, which basically gives me... Um, it lets me it let me have an extra perk, but it also means I have to drink alcohol every few minutes, otherwise I suffer, for, suffer stat penalties. And also, I have the food addicted perk as well, uh, floor as well. So I am um, I need to eat something at the same time. Fortunately, though, I the little device that we have that heals us basically is like a cocktail of food and alcohol. So I just kind of I boost myself with that every time. Cedric recording material for his groundbreaking album Fart Sounds Volume One. <laughs> That's how he made his money. It's all coming together. It's like the Letterkenny episode fart book. <laughs> all the farts are making people rich. See, the Rizzo's morale improvement program is just, we discovered it's getting a slug rammed into your neck that makes you deliriously happy. It is not... This is a, these, these are all horrible people. So I will not feel sad if, you know, I... If we have to shoot our way out of this entire space station. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Haha! -ha, so we have been here before. We were we were here f looking for... Because I think we... No, we didn't. Because I think we hacked this terminal. And it didn't give us any information last time. Because it wasn't... We didn't have this quest. What have you got on your desk there? Can I have it? No. You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. Nice. <sighs> a real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? In answer to the question, no, and yes, so goddamn many. Um, what, have you never shot someone? I can lean into the inspector thing. It's called closing a case, and it's the best part of my job. I'll have to take down a few perps yet. But I think, like, the fact that she's never shot someone in the out outer worlds would be some kind of small miracle, because it's a horribly violent place. Well, yeah, but they weren't suspects. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> no, the wording is distinctive. How can I help your investigation? Yeah, what's the culprit been... Any idea why someone... I can come back to that one, hopefully. But what's the culprit been stealing? That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. But that's... Don't make sense. I 
ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, <laughs> full stop? An idiot. Sounds like our purpose. Not fencing the stolen goods. The criminal mind is strange and unknowable. Low-class low low class scum who can't sell Spectrum Black from Nanospank. Uh, let's... Uh, sounds like our purpose. Not fencing the stolen goods. Yeah, probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. Then there's the most recent theft. Five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. So here's the thing. Like, why does Cedric care about this if it's just shit, random shit that's gone missing? So Perf is desperately low on ink. The crime is sad. The sad act of a pathetic mind. Those are the same answer, but slightly differently. I see what you mean about there not being a pattern. Well, I'm no inspector. If there is one, I'm sure you'll find it. Who has access to the cargo? Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing. Everyone's a suspect. The thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automechs that handle cargo. This could be an automech issue. Could be. Those things will break if you so much as look at them funny. That's Benton's area, but don't bother asking him. I dealt with Benton before, I think. Last time I asked him to check the automechs, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. <coughs> Is he dead? Brain dead, maybe. But no, no. My point is that if you think the Automex are a lead, you'll have to check on them yourself. I will do. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. It's a good thing that we uh, we brought Pavati first of all, and also I am mechanically inclined. I've got really good engineering skills, apparently. Uh, any idea why someone would want to bug Cedric's office? Maybe they're keen on cashing out and want to go as painfully as possible. I don't know. Boskin Cannon's office is where he holds most of his meetings with important folks like Miss Helen. So, so He's I don't got think all negotiations happen in his office too. Vendor pricing, major purchase orders, rentals for construction projects, you name it. So I don't think they were trying to get Cedric with this. I think they were trying to get Helen. But that would also blow holes in my entire theory that like Helen is still alive and this is the thing, maybe I'm getting too attached to this theory. And maybe one of the oh, before I suspects forget. we've dealt with already you did might it. Want to access my terminal, so I had a spare key card made. It's all yours. They're too accommodating. What's going on here? Anything on there I should know about? Any weird? Eh, what's your what's your search history? It's okay. You can tell me. I'm an inspector. Oh no! I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo. To all start. right, Ella. Come on. Nah, I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing, though. If that helps any. It might. Why, why do you have a gun in your hand already? Holy shit, how bad could that conversation have gone? Oh, so many messages. From Benton Chan. Subject. Ari, it happened again. Pens, soda. I'll never understand where you get the energy to care about this shit, Tinsley. I don't know what to tell you. Pretty much the only ones that handle any cargo are the auto mechanicals. You can come look at them if you want, but even I have better things to do than help you exact justice and avoid damned pen thief. Some random shit this time. We lost five boxes of blue pens and a couple of purple berry sodas. I can't see a pattern. We got all those dead eye MK3s in the other day and not one of them went missing. It's just not like the skimmer's going for the most expensive cargo. As far as I can tell, shit's getting skimmed from the crates before they make it inside the room. Did someone be breaking into the shipping yard at night, do you think? Oh, so I was stuck into the shipping yard and mess with the loading automatics to go to hell, will you? Those things break down enough as it is, and I'll be damned if I'm going to haul car cargo around myself. Okay, so this is the outgoing stuff. We've read that. Let's read this. In that case, there must be a problem with the automax. I'll swing by when I can and see what's malfunctioning. Besides you. Besides you! Ha 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 ha.
Who knows, I might dance. It's not my fault. It's so damn easy to hack. Seriously, a primal could do it. Here's a list of what's gone missing so far, okay. Eight cases of purple berry punch, two boxes of pen, 16 pallets of cacao milk, 300 small portrait images, Spencer Woolrich, add, add I, add l additional shipping instructions, handle with care, law, would I like to fold these in half? No one likes Spencer Woolrich, and he is okay, he's a bit of a prick, but he made some really good points about robot actors taking over their jobs, and, you know, it's a legitimate issue we're having right now. There's a huge strike over it and everything. Um, three Mark Seven cranial protectors, seven sets of protective clothing with safety harness, armored ballistics, two cases of lemon slap, ten spaces choice sabers, and a partridge in a pear tree. 25 cases of Blasting Agent, 3 boxes of Dark Matter Bars, 4 cases of Nanospank. I ask you, Benton, who would steal Nanospank, let alone pictures of Spencer Woolrich? <laughs> oh my god! Spencer, they're cooking your ass in the fucking terminal messages. If the thief wasn't skimming from Cedric and Cannon of all people, I'd figure they were here doing it for kicks and giggles. Okay. You can't get in there. So the next stop is to look into the Automax. The yeah. Let's go do that. Deeply concerned about what Nana Spank is. Oh, it's it's like banana flavored. Um, it's, it, I've got I've got some in my inventory. I think I can. It's like banana flavored liqueur. So lemon slap, pepperberry punch. So I've been drinking rum. At the moment. Uh, Pepperberry Fizz Tea. Nanospank. Delightfully banana reminiscent carbonated beverage. So basically, banana flavored energy drink, essentially. It's not as exciting as you might think. So how, how, how am I doing for booze? I've got plenty of food, at least. Um, so I've got plenty of Spectrum Vodka. Um, a lot of Pepperberry Wine. Um... Be the worst name for a drink. Oh, like the products in this game are like kind of gross, just in general. Like when you think about what they like, it says like they brew like the zero G brew. Like the beer is like brewed in like with some kind of weird shit in it. When if you look into what that shit actually is, it's actually poison. <laughs> well, alcohol is poison anyway, but like. So a lot of the ingredients, you know, if you look at what what's in the food and drink in the game, kind of a big clue about the ending of the game, basically. That which we have already done on stream, but we're kind of doing the DLC parts anyway. Um, the fact that the whole colony is dying because there's no actual food; it's all just like reconstituted chemicals and shit. So everyone's like starving to death. It's a horrible world. It's like it's it's very. It's a very entertainingly funny and like darkly humorous world, but it is horrible. Like it'd be a horrible place to live. It's the logical conclusion of all the capitalism we've got at the moment. I think part of the reason why it's such a good game is that it's such a huge blistering critique of capitalism as well. Like you get people who are like who will say, oh, I was on my 15 minute mandatory, or 15 minutes allocated lunch break, if I uh, if I work another 16 hours, I'll get another 15 minute break at the end of it, stuff like that, like, I don't know why my fucking robot's out. Let's go look at the auto mechanical. 